<laughs> Whoa, uh, Brandon, you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just planning for my trip. John. I'm Brandon, and this is the So and So Show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you hungry for lunch already? Oh, yeah. And this bad boy's been calling my name all morning. Wait, 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 wait. What's that? What's that brown stuff? Mushroom. Mushroom. Ooh. Mm. Oh. You want a bite? No, definitely no. Oh, you don't like mushrooms? No. Well, you're a picky eater, Brandon. Well, what are the other foods you don't like to eat? <laughs> uh, it's not that many, really. Uh, just mushrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, zucchini. Mm. Coffee. Ugh. Mm. Oh, and definitely not cranberries. They're too tart. Oh, and sugar cookies. Too sugary. Oh, okay. Too much sugar. Brandon. Too much of a good Brandon, Brandon, what? Brandon, 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 Brandon. We're going to have to have an intervention here. Oh, come on. It's not Please that Please welcome big of a... someone who knows stuff. <laughs> come on in. Hi. Hello. Yeah, have a seat, have a seat, welcome. Uh, so uh, tell us who you are and what you know. My name is Susanna and I love to travel and try new things everywhere I go. I become a bit of a food connoisseur. Oh, very cool. Yeah, you know, Susanna, um, Brandon here is a very picky eater. Not, well, I've got the perfect solution for that. Trying all new things! Our first dish comes from Ethiopia, which is located on the eastern side of Africa, just north of Kenya. This is called injera. It's a spongy type of sourdough bread made out of a grain called teff, which is grown in Ethiopia. Okay, cool. Is this a popular food there? It's or? their most popular food. Okay. People like to put cooked vegetables, lentils, or meat toppings on it. Okay. Injera serves as both a plate and a utensil. Oh, okay. Oh. Here we go. All right, so just fruit. Can we, can we go ahead and try some? Yeah. All right, cool. I just ripped this off and yeah. yep, put that, stuff in it. That's right. right. Okay. right. Ethiopians are skilled at twisting the injera just right so that they get a good scoop, but I think it's a little complicated to choose. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to use a fork. Go, yeah, go for it. Go for it. it. Go for it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. This one is called shiro, sure. and it's made from chickpeas, and it's a little spicy. All right. Spicy. Mm -hmm. I like spicy. Oh, the first one was good. Mm -hmm. Just gonna add it on to the top there. Mm. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's excellent. Right? That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one is called Atakilt. Oh. It is a mixture of cabbage, carrots, and potatoes. Cabbage, carrots, and potatoes. Go good. big or go home, right? Yeah, that's right, Harry. That's, that's what they say. Mm. That's really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Look at yum, 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 yum. No, I like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna have this at my house. Are you guys ready to try my next favorite food? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Well, these are fried plantains. Plantains are popular in Latin America, the Caribbean, Africa, Southeast Asia, a lot of places in the world, really. Okay, so where, where did you first try these? Oh, let's see. Peru, Costa Rica, Cameroon, Colombia. That's cool. Just to name a few. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plantains are like a cross between a potato and a banana. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try Go for it. it. Okay. Oh. Mm. That is way better than a potato or a banana. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, my favorite way to eat them is dipped in freshly made guacamole. Oh, all right. None for me, thanks. I do not do guac. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. mm. Our last dish is... Uh oh I know what that is. That's shrimp fried rice. Well, close, but it's a little different than that. This is called paella, and it's a famous dish from Spain. Okay, I don't exactly eat shrimp. Well, traditional paella usually comes with more than just shrimp, like this one. Okay, oh, that's true. And it's mixed with tomatoes and peas and whatever meat you want to add. <sighs> okay. Oh, well, sounds good to me. I'm going to dig in right here. Miss the shrimp. That actually looks like a squid. Oh. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh. mm. How do you say delicious in Spanish? Delicioso! Oh, that is delicioso! <laughs> yes. Would you say so, Brandon? Wow. 
Yeah. Wow. Well, oh, I'd yeah. say that's a win for me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> thank you guys so much for sharing my favorite food with me today. Of course, thank you. This was great. I only wish we could somehow send some through the screen to Kellen. He's going to be jealous when he finds out all, all the good food that we have. That is true. Wait, you know what? Speaking of Kellen, <laughs> it's, it's Bible, Bible Story Time, time with, with Kellen! Kellen. I love plantain chips. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Kellen. Hey, we were just eating plantains too. Great minds think alike. Now, are we thinking the same thing for what we should do next? Uh, Learn a Bible story from you? We are on a roll. Hey! Our story today comes from the book of Acts chapter 10. At this point, Jesus had already completed his time here on earth, and many people believed in him, forming the early church. Now, one thing you need to know is that back then, it was against Jewish law for Jews to associate with people who were not Jewish. Hmm. Okay, got it. Great. Let's jump in. Starting at the house of a Roman commander named Cornelius, he was a Gentile or a non-Jewish person. Cornelius and his family were faithful and worshiped God. He was generous to people in need and prayed often to God. One afternoon, he had a vision and saw an angel of God. Cornelius! What? What? What is it, Lord? Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like an offering to God. He has remembered you. Now, send men to Joppa and have them bring back a man named Peter. Servants! Godly soldier, come! I have a mission for you. Peter had been one of Jesus' closest friends and disciples when Jesus was on earth. Now, Peter was one of the leaders of the early church. And while Cornelius was sending men to find him, Peter was having his own vision from God. God, thank you for this beautiful day. You were so faithful and loving. Mm, I'm so hungry. I wonder what they are making for lunch downstairs. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. No, Lord, I will not. I have never eaten anything that is not pure and clean. Do not say that anything is not pure that God has made clean. This back and forth between Peter and the voice happened three times. Then the sheep was taken back up to heaven. What could this mean? The animals Peter saw were considered unclean by Jewish law. So you can imagine why he would be confused. Now, while Peter was thinking about the vision, the men Cornelius sent arrived at the house. The Holy Spirit spoke to Peter and told him to go with them. So Peter did. When Peter arrived at Cornelius' house, Cornelius fell at his feet as a sign of respect. Stand up, I am only a man myself. Thank you for coming. I have invited all my relatives and close friends to meet you and hear what you have to say. Hey, Peter, hello, hey, hey. well, hey, come on, thanks for coming. Hey, hey how's Whoa. it going, Peter? Yes, uh, hello? Peter spoke to the people and he explained to them how it was against the Jewish law for him to be with the Gentiles, but, he remembered his vision from God and realized that God wanted him to treat everyone the same. God accepts people from every nation. He accepts anyone who has respect for him and does what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel, the good news of peace through Jesus Christ. This was a huge deal because previously, Peter thought he couldn't even be friends with Gentiles, but God helped him see things differently. Peter told them all about Jesus. All the prophets speak of Jesus. They say that all who believe in him have their sins forgiven through his name. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came on all those who heard the message. Yeah, hallelujah, Woo! praise God. Praise God. This is amazing. I have never felt like this before. Surely no one can keep these people from being baptized with water. They have received the Holy Spirit, just as we have. Oh, thank you, Peter. Won't you stay a few more days with us? Of course. 
and first thing on the agenda for my visit, for you to all be baptized in the name of Jesus. Woohoo! Everyone there was baptized. God changed the way Peter viewed people who were different from him. And after staying with Cornelius for a few days, he went on to teach people everywhere that faith in Jesus was for everyone. The end. Thanks, Kellen. That's amazing. I, I love that Peter was willing to let God change the way he thought about the Gentiles. Yeah, me too. I mean, if he didn't let them learn about Jesus, I wonder if we would have ever learned about him today. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely makes the message hit close to home when you realize how much it affects you personally. Yeah, totally. God's plan all along was to give everyone access through Jesus, no matter who someone is or where someone's from. God loves every person, and Jesus came to be a savior to all people. That is seriously good news. Yes. Thanks, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Kellen. God never had to change his mind about people. God loved everyone all along. Yeah, you know, earlier today, I was being a little judgmental of the food you were eating. Well, obviously, food is different than people, but I think sometimes, without realizing it, I can be judgmental toward people, too. Oh, I know I can be. My mailman for one. Oh, don't even get me started uh, with him! Well, maybe God will change the way you see him, just like with Peter. Yeah, I could use some help there. Oh. Yeah. What about you? Reveal the question! When have you changed your mind about someone? Hey, that is a great question. Mm -hmm. There are lots of times that our first impressions are wrong or, or that we need God's love to help see people the way God does. Yeah, it could be a sibling that used to annoy you, but you've learned to see how special they are. Or maybe a grown-up in your life who you thought wasn't very cool, but then learns they listen to the same music you listen hey, to. When, when you put your faith in Jesus, God can help change the way you see the people around you. So what about you? Talk it out, and we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this was the Zoe and Zoe Show! Bye. I really do need to work on my feelings towards the mailman. Yeah, maybe you should give him some attic kilt. Oh, yeah, 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 just wrap it up in the... Yeah, put it in the envelope. Yeah. Or right, fold some injera up like an envelope and put it in your mailbox. That's a brilliant idea. You guys want to try one of the most exotic foods I've ever encountered? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> This particular delicacy comes from Italy, and it's made with fresh bread, tomato sauce, cheese, and whatever variety of toppings you choose. And you can eat it with your hands. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm. Isn't it amazing? I mean, have you ever had something quite like this? I mean. Yeah, this is really... It's called pizza! Mmm, that's really good. Nothing compares. Mm. Yeah, I, I think I've had this before. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. Where was the first place you tried pizza? Um... Oregon. Or Oregon. No kidding. Yeah. I hear they make, make good pizza.